Welcome. In this video, we are going to explore Roman numeral analysis in music theory. So to understand this, we first have to visit scale degrees again. So let's take a look and just take, um, for example, a simple scale that everyone knows, good old C major. So I'll put C colon, which means we are in the key of C major, and then I'm just going to notate the scale degrees in C major. Okay. So if I'm giving these scale degrees, that's scale degree 1, second scale degree, third scale degree, fourth, fifth scale degree, sixth scale degree, seventh scale degree, and back to the first scale degree. And each of these have a name, of course. One is tonic, two is supertonic, three is mediant, four is subdominant, five is dominant, six is submediant, seven is leading tone in this case, and back to the tonic. Now, if I were to make all of these triads by adding the third and fifth, I would, of course, be making chords. Okay, so I'm just going to finish this off here. And if we were to analyze these chords, well, this would be a C major chord, then D minor triad, then E minor triad, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, and then back to C major. Now, when we're doing Roman numeral analysis, what we actually are going to be writing is, and you can just do Roman numeral shorthand here, Roman numeral analysis or RNA, is we're going to be using Roman numerals. Now, Roman numerals we have basically um, just two letters we'll be using, the I and the V. Okay? And they correspond directly to the scale degrees. Now we can do capital or lowercase. When we use capital, that means that this is going to be for a major or augmented chord. And when we use lowercase, it's going to be for a minor or diminished chord. Okay? And that means that you won't have to signify whether one is major or minor with a lower or uppercase M. So for the, the, an example, this first one here, the one chord, what we call the one chord, is just going to be noted as capital one. Okay, a major one. That's what we say, a major one chord. 2 is D minor, so we're just going to write lowercase Roman numeral 2, indicating a minor 2 chord. That's how we would say it, minor 2 chord. Next would be a minor 3 chord, since E minor is a minor chord. Then a major 4 chord, a major 5 chord, minor 6 chord, diminished 7 chord. Notice how I use lowercase and, of course, back to the major one chord. So, why would we even bother using Roman numerals? We already have a system um, by which we can identify chords. We could just use the lead sheet symbols. Okay, just identify the chords as they are. Well, this is great and all, but this, lead sheet symbols, do not show us the relationships between different chords. And what I mean by that is, with Roman numeral analysis, we take into consideration the tonality that we are in, the key that we're in. A C major chord is always going to be C major, regardless of whether we're in C major, F major, G major, doesn't matter. C major chord is always going to be the same. However, C major is not always going to be a one chord. It is a one chord only in the key of C. But if it's, we're in the key of G, for example, well, C would be the fourth 
scale degree, which means that C would be the four chord and no longer functioning as a one chord. Okay, so the beauty of Roman numeral analysis is it gives us relationships between harmonies, which is another level of depth. It also simplifies music for us as well because we're able to think in terms of all major keys and all minor keys. And that's because it doesn't matter what major key we're in. Okay? All major keys are going to follow this formula. So I want you to notice something here. Notice how the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord are all major. These are also known as the primary chords. Okay, these are the primary chords. So in any major scale, so long as you don't have any accidentals, 1, 4, and 5 are always major. 2, 3, and 6 are always minor. And 7 is diminished. All major keys follow this. So that's a little basic overview of how Roman numerals work, what they are. Now, let's actually take a few examples to, um, you know, identify this a little further. Take this a little further. Okay. So let's say, for example, let's give us an example here. We'll stick with treble clef for simplicity's sake. And let's say we have one sharp, and let's say that we're in the key of G major. And then we have these notes here, like this. B, D, and G. And our job is to figure out what the Roman numeral analysis is for this. So what will we do? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to identify the root. Okay, first step is to identify the root. And the root is G. Well, then the next step is to, to determine, okay, if the root is G, which scale degree is that in the key of G major? And, of course, that would be the first scale degree, which means this is going to be a one chord. Okay? So what we can do then is we can notate this in root position for ourselves. I've just shifted the root down to the bottom, then I can analyze this. I'll see that I have a major third and a minor third, which makes this a major triad. So capital one, major one chord. But also, we'll notice it is inverted because the bass note is not the root of the chord. The bass note is the third of the chord. So if I look at the shape of this, I can see that this is a six three inversion, or first inversion triad. So I'm going to write the figured base, six. So this is what we will call a major one six chord, or just a one six chord. Let's take another example here. Let's stay in G major. And let's say that we have, how about this? Okay. So again, the first step, we want to determine the root of the chord, which is very easy, line space, so the space is the root, which is C. C is the fourth scale degree in the key of G major, so this is going to be a four chord. And if I notate this in root position here, I can easily see that this is a major triad. So I'm going to write major four, which is just capital, Roman numeral four. And it's inverted, and if I take a look here, I'll see this is actually a second inversion triad, 6-4. So I'll notate that figured base, and there I have it. What we would call a major 4-6-4 four, four chord, or just a 4-6-4. Four, four. If you don't know how Roman numerals work, let's just do a very brief overview of that. Very simple. This is 1. If you put two eyes next to together, that's the same as one plus one, which of course would be two. 
if you want to do three, well that's just three, one plus one plus one, which is three. However, if you want to do four, you're going to have the one before the v. v is five, so this is five minus one, which is, of course, going to equal four. If you put the i after the five, that becomes five plus one, which is, of course, six, and then seven, which is five plus one plus one. Okay? So that's how Roman numerals work. And in music, we only have seven Roman numerals. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Of course, we just do the five. We just write the five, the V. Okay. So I hope this brief overview on Roman numerals was helpful. In the next video, we're going to go look at Roman numeral analysis when we're dealing with seventh chords. I'll see you in the next video.